Every day, wounded service members face new challenges, but one organization is trying to help with a basic but a very important need. So Much Comfort is the only organization that creates adaptive clothing for wounded warriors. We're going to talk to So Much Comfort Ambassador Janelle Sponberg in just a moment, but first, our segment producer, Hilary Esquina, takes us behind the seams of the organization for a look. I'm an ambassador for the aeromedical facility here at Andrews Air Force Base. And I bring clothes to the troops coming in. One of the things that we do is make sure that if they need adapted clothing, we have it here. Any wounded service member that comes in here can come in and get what they need so that they have it free of charge, so that they don't have to sit in their hospital gown. We do t-shirts, we do boxers and underwear, shorts, pajamas, we do long sleeve shirts, sweatshirts, sweats, and long pants. Depending on what the need is, we can put Velcro on whatever they're wearing. Sometimes we've done special orders with uniforms. I started on special requests simply because there was a need. They needed to be dressed like all the other people. The indignity of a hospital gown is something else. To me, that was what made the difference so that they could put athletic shorts on, put t-shirts on, and do what they needed to do to heal. It allows them the ability to open a garment for treatment and close it back. They can actually do it themselves. Without so much comfort, our mission here really wouldn't be complete. They're one of our many volunteers but they are key in our wounded warriors feeling at home here. Our wounded have done so much. They've suffered so much. This is the least I can do, and I want to give back. And when you see a, a young man or a young woman smile when you give them the clothes, it's all worth it. And uh, there she is in the flesh, Janalee Sponberg, an ambassador with so much comfort. Good to see you today. And what a, a great organization this is. I mean, really filling a need. We're really privileged to be able to serve and to give back to our military members. So tell us a little bit about, I know this is an international organization, right? It but is. You're, you're doing the project locally in Alexandria, right? Right. Anyone could help us and from their homes if they wanted to. And they, it, it's a, a simple sewing matter. We have instructions that allow people to help us um, and, and some of the materials that we have in front of us are the t-shirts and the shorts and the things that, that we can give to a military member who's been wounded. Um, it may just be in a sling, mm -hmm. but it's so much easier to get in and out of a, a t-shirt that's got Velcro on it than to try and wrestle through a normal t-shirt. So the only prerequisite here is, to helping is that you need to know how to sew? Uh, or there's some jobs have, that you don't have to sew? We even have jobs for non-sewers. Oh, that's great. And, and we have men and women doing this, and so we encourage anyone who wants to to check our website. What are some of the non-sewing jobs? Well, we, we package everything. We label everything. We, we need to make sure that the sizes are available so when they're at the hospital, the um, Red Cross volunteers or the nurses on staff can issue them to the right mm -hmm. person and they don't have to sort through everything. And so you put Velcro that. on too, don't you? We've got the Velcro uh -huh. already on them okay. and we deliver that to the hospital. Great. Show us some of the adaptive clothing that you make. Well, here's a t-shirt and, and it is a right side uh, adaptation. So. We use some seam binding and some little buttons of Velcro. So basically the whole seam comes apart. It does. This whole side. And then once we've finished doing that, we put our So Much Comfort seal of approval on Okay. So, so this is basically made to get over a uh, something large, like a what? Could be a sling. Uh -huh. It could be a fixator. If uh, with some of the damage that is happening in Iraq and Afghanistan, um, they need to put pins and, and pieces together mm -hmm. so they put them in a fixator and that's difficult to put a real piece of clothes on so we can do this. They must love having a real piece, a piece of clothing as opposed to what, a hospital gown? Is that what they would be wearing? Exactly. I mean there's a great deal of dignity in being in real clothes plus it's comfortable Yeah. and that's what we want is we want people to be comfortable and, and we have long sleeves as the weather gets colder as it is today. Uh, so that's the thermal, uh, thermal shirt with the long sleeves? Right. And we've got some pajamas there that have Velcro And which side does this side? open up on? This oh. one is on both sides. Oh, okay. Because sometimes 
it's it's easier like with a uh -huh. burn victim uh, it Just would probably it be much easier for them and it has to be soft mm -hmm. so it's comfortable great and we've got shorts most of the guys are interested in just having a pair of shorts to put on and, and, and a t-shirt to be comfortable. And maybe the adaptation is only uh, for the leg. Mm -hmm. But if you're in a cast, just I think everybody needs to know about Velcro clothes because we all have, at times, a need to be in something that's sure. easy to get that's in so and out so true, of. even if you just have a surgery or something in your own life. Exactly. So how long has this organization been going on? It started in 2004 with a little boy who was part of a military family. He said to his mom, Mom, why don't you do for these guys what you do for me? And it was the beginning of so much comfort. And we're sowing support for our troops. And now with so many troops coming back with injuries, it's, it's needed more than ever. We thought we would work ourselves out of a job. Unfortunately, that's not the case. There are three flights a day that come in to Andrews, uh, three flights a week, uh, Tuesday night, Friday night, and Sunday night. And as an ambassador, I go and assist the Red Cross volunteers that are there to greet them and to welcome them home. And they may be coming home with uh, a sprained ankle mm -hmm. or something much worse. Just a lot of need. So if somebody wants to help, please contact our uh, website. I believe it's folk, it's on yeah. the it screen. So much comfort. And um, if someone's local and wants part of the group work, they're welcome to join us on Tuesday night at a church in Alexandria. Okay, lots of need. We, and we'd love to have anyone join us, and that's sewers and non sewers and men and women. Good to know. Jenna Lee Sponberg, the ambassador for So Much Comfort. Thanks Thank so much you. for sharing with us today.